Hey you guys and we're back at it again with episode 9 of Jobless Reincarnation. Let's get straight into things. Chicken drumstick attack? Oh, Sylvie. Oh, Sylvie! <laughs> Didn't know we'd get her down that bad. Forgotten? Yeah. Oh, so that's... Fair enough. How could he possibly forget you, Sylvie? Yes! Okay, because I was kind of wondering... If it's... I was more so like obliged to the princess, which is also true, but then I guess I missed the more so important factor of Sylvie being afraid of um, how she would exactly react if Rudy had no idea who she was, like didn't remember her. And yes, it's been a couple of years, but still the time they had together. And we can't forget that Rudy, when he first met Fitz, did have notice the wand and thought like, you know, he had kind of a familiar vibe from Fitz. So I think as Sylvie, now that um, the princess has given her kind of confirmation, like that she can kind of do whatever with the name of Fitz, I do hope this is finally the episode where Sylvie freaking tells Rudy. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. I just want them to freaking have their reunion. But anyway, that's fine. It's fine. Well, it's fine. Regardless of what happens, we'll see what happens. Teleportation seems like summoning. So then you were summoned? Yeah, okay, you can't summon people. But you, I guess your whole town like was a summoning specialist. We have. Silent Seven Star. Oh. Are we finally going to meet the the one in the opening, the one um we were introduced to, well told about, um that never appears in class. I believe she is the one in the opening that was like drawing some massive like magic circle in like some underground area, and it looks quite like an important scene, but. I guess we might find out this time. Whoa, what's with the reaction? The mask? It's been a while, hasn't it? Shit, should I know who this is? Wait, what? Rudy remembers Dying. I don't remember her killing us though. Oh shit, she was the one that was next to. Oh, that took me a moment. Yeah, the one that was next to the dragon god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think it was a dream, sweetie. Yeah, what is going on? A while. Depending on our actions, depending on what actions. Well, long story short. Yeah, we died. I don't expect you to be here either. Do you recognize me? Oh, it's Japanese. Which one of these two are you? Why do you have those specific names? We're just from the same place. Say what now? Nana Hoshi. And she's, we're also Japanese. Well, we go by Rudy here. Yeah, do give Rudy some space. I'm on your side. 
Wait, so do you know Mangorn? I love how Sylvie's just like in the middle of this. Let's work together to go back to our world. So that's where you've been sir. studying somebody mad. You're being, but you see the thing is we don't we don't want to go back to our world. We like it here. There's lots of magic girls and cat girls. Mm. And back in the old world, it's just the old world. Billy, why don't you love about this world? Her eyes are so creepy through the mask. I can't. Yeah, that's why you look really. What well, you look? Yeah, you are. You are still. You know, like you. So Chuck couldn't teleported you, whereas Rudy got Isekai. So I guess that's what they mean by like summoning and teleportation. A different but kind of same. You asked to bring us back. Thanks, I guess. It was a personal grudge. So you took it out of Rudy. Well, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. We're just like the third party here. Wait, so I'm assuming. You're not related to Mangot since he didn't kill you. Teleportation. Mm, okay, so through summoning, obviously you can't summon people, as Rudy I think said, so, but you can teleport. Humans can obviously teleport. I may have been summoned to this world by someone. Yeah, who and why? The world will erase us. How do you know that the world will erase you? Yeah, isn't that more time? Yeah, Isakai's, you know, go great if we bring our knowledge. Brings riches or fame. You don't have mana. Oh, I guess that would explain. Yeah, Rudy has an immense amount of mana. Mm. But you're not from this world, so I guess that's why you don't contain mana. And I don't seem to age. Whereas Rudy has grown. Well, obviously, since so baby. Interesting. So you have no mana, yet you have... I want to say immortality, but you, at least you don't age. So in a sense, that's immortality, isn't it? Yeah. And the food sucks. Fair enough. Yeah, and if she doesn't have mana, it's kind of fun on that. We can make fireballs. Uh, yeah, this, I, I love how that's my selling point of this world, but... Mm. Well, through his journeys of season one, he was able to finally... I think let go of the old world. Come, come to like more serving or something. What sort of bargain would you like to make? Oh, you want our mana? Okay, yeah, that information will definitely be handy. So that's, uh, she was planning on bargaining with information, smart. So that's why she didn't tell us anything before and said that she couldn't tell. Oh, I love how Sylvie stayed. But something seems to be upsetting her. What do we want to know? Yeah? Oh, she must have felt so left out in this, having no idea what's going on. Wait, when you arrived... So you were the cause? Oh, snap! No, but but she was forcefully teleported as well. 
So it was more so like a consequence of it. <gasps> I guess she was ready for this the moment she put on the ring. Sylvie. But but she's not she's not the one that like did it deliberately. Yeah. She, But Sylvie, sweetie. I know we've only seen Sylvie's backstory through the um, OVA, but God, you could just hear how much she went through. It's the one that teleported you. Huh. I love how Sylvie starts cleaning up, bless. And that would be? to explain the mass teleportation logically okay we finally at least we finally have a lead to go off maybe both of you were meant to be like one needed to be teleported one needed to be kind of isekai i'm just wondering if the one who teleported her was the mass teleportation the cause and that she was consequence like the situation could be possibly flipped since we don't have answers so I'm just saying was she more so of like the after effect of the mass teleportation like if you teleport here like someone else had to be teleported something like that or is she the actual like cause to consequence does that make sense so like the flow chart it could go this way but it could also go this way <laughs> if you follow fair enough our first encounter wasn't the best tell them no, Sylvie, you can do it. I guess when you're ready. Come on, Sylvie. You literally had the words on the tip of your tongue. Episode 9, The White Mask. Oh, snap. This was definitely not the episode I thought we were diving into. I mean, ever since I teased it in the opening, I've been excited to meet whoever this was, but it definitely took me a moment to realise that she was the one next to the dragon god when, you know, Rudy dies. And that's why that full-on panic attack came back to Rudy, which, you know, fair enough. We can't forget that, like, horrific episode. But she was definitely the last person that I expected to meet. However, I absolutely love how everything is connecting up. Like, my god, just, like, the detailing of the writing is just, like, so impressive. Because I generally thought she was just, like, a character, you know, in that episode, she was just more so in the background and it was more so, you know, the dragon god killing us so i didn't expect her character to link up like this and for, and for her to also be a teleporter from japan so a little bit different obviously explained from rudy's situation of being isekai and that's why she doesn't have mana so that's why the two of them kind of need each other in the sense that well rudy doesn't necessarily need this girl but the girl does need someone with immense mana and we obviously know that even Badigari, literally last episode praised rudy for his immense amount of mana so i'm just thinking that and that's why i was saying like maybe these two are connected in some way and even the mass teleportation kind of situation i feel like there is going to be a bigger kind of, kind of explanation to the overall connection but so far i'm just saying that Rudy's immense mana capacity and this girl requiring immense mana for her teleportation. What a like perfect match for two people that one who yes got teleported and one that got isekai both from Japan. I really just do not expect to meet another person from um Japan who isn't linked to man god however considering that the dragon god obviously didn't kill her like he kind of did to Rudy so yeah this episode definitely brought a whole load of questions whilst answering some it did answer like I guess our first like burning kind of questions but through that I felt like it just brought up more questions because now we know that mass teleportation was indeed caused by this girl but only caused by her because she was also a victim to being teleported by someone like someone teleported her or either she was teleported because of the consequences of the mass teleportation who knows but this episode was indeed a big turning point in regards to our investigation of the mass teleportation so yeah with that oh boy i do wonder where we go from here so i guess until then make sure you guys are awesome and i'll definitely catch you guys next time